Um, I I remember not reading it yet, and we were on our way to Comic Con. We we were driving our way back from San Diego to L.A., and I refused to read it, but everybody else had read it. And I think Darcy chose to read it on the car uh, in the car, and I just watched her for almost like an hour, bawling her eyes out, and that made me not want to read it. Either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Darcy's also like a, a real easy cry. Yeah, she's a, know, yeah she's easy target. Highly empathetic. <laughs> I just love that the show takes really big swings and asks a lot of really interesting questions and doesn't uh, purport itself to have answers. You know, everything is just sort of made up and imaginary. And 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 I, and, and so this the, this finale, I feel like, is very much in keeping with that that sort of aesthetic. Like for me, it was it was a big day. I think most of us were on set. We were on location. Um, for me, my mindset was just kind of stay in it and kind of I kind of I tried to be like the cameraman for the day. So I sat with the cameraman and kind of like looked at the shots and everything and just I really tried to take in the the moment. Um, and before you know it, it was done. But I was kind of just like I was expecting more tears. I was, I was expecting to like be crying on the floor, but it was just, it was more so just like a, f a full moment, you know, with everybody there. Yeah. I, um, you know, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we were all around for the most part. And uh, I think it was one of the, one of the, yeah, it was one of those days where we all just kind of watched each other's work, you know, yeah. pretty much all day long because we we're, were saying goodbye. I, I think maybe there was, uh, for me, a sense of, uh, you know, in particular with with the four babies, yeah. Um, I just couldn't wait to see what what they do next. You know, mm -hmm. it, because it's just, I've just grown to to like all all of their performances so much and um, and love the characters. And so it was one of those things where I was just like, man, like I am so lucky to have had these people in my life for this time. And so it was just. A lot of gratitude, but, you know, so the tears kind of were held back by just the fact that I was just, you know, just, like, really happy to just watch my yeah. co-workers work. I think Will's already moved on, hence the mustache and the beard. It's <laughs> like, I am getting out of this. Um, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm always open to any, anything that Mike does, as long as Mike sure is involved, then yeah, I'm totally up for it. Anything that these guys are involved in, I'm totally up for it. But I think the beauty about this show is that it's ending, you know, it's, that should be it. I mean, that's just how I feel. Yeah. Well, it's, it's something that is, the, the story is, is the, the captain of this ship, you know, and we're telling the story that we want to tell and then we're getting out when it's, when it's time to get out as opposed to, you know, just running it just because it's, you know, uh, it's comfortable and we're having yeah. a good time. Um, and that's painful, but I think it's, it's, it shows like Mike Scher's integrity mm. as, as a storyteller and I think it's important to honor that. Have the integrity, Mike, just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no. money, man. No, you know, let us have a job. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I have Top Gun in 2020 coming up. Or we have Top a little, Gun. A little movie. Yeah, a little indie a movie. Little um, that's coming up in June of 2020. And I'm also working on um, a horror thriller thing um, for Netflix called Brand New Cherry Flavor. Um, so I'm doing that. It's like the complete opposite of The Good Place. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for those two. Yeah, I'm excited for that too. I'm actually super hyped to see it. It's going to be you know. weird. Because because Manny breaks me the most of anybody on set, and so like it's it, so it's it's one of those I just I just want to I just want to see him do something different, where he's not targeting me and trying to make me <laughs> laugh. Um, but like uh, I, I'm working on uh, the Underground Railroad um, for Amazon now, which is based on the Colson Whitehead novel. So that's that's what I'm doing, and it, again, it's like very very different from the Good Place, very different yeah, from Cheating. What, what?